Brick Quarter Custom Rifles presents What do you get when you combine the maker of the most accurate hunting rifle in the world, one of the most lethal outfitters in North America, and a legendary South Texas hunting guide? Oh, and a producer that can put up with all three of us. Well, the answer is you get precision hunting. That's us. I'm Alan Rovick with McWhorter Custom Rifles. The new show, Precision Hunting, is going to focus more on the technical aspects of precision shooting as it pertains to hunting. We're not only going to try to give you the benefit of our years of knowledge and hunting experience, but we're going to bring in some actual world-class shooting instructors to help complement not only our techniques, but your techniques at home as well. So I think you're really going to like the new format. We're going to try to be as informative as possible. So go with us now. Our first hunt, Denise and I are headed to Northwest Oklahoma with our good friend and outfitter, Larry Ellis at EWA Outfitting. We're going to be chasing some giant muleys and some big whitetails. You don't want to miss this. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles, Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Swarovski Optique, Yeti Coolers, and Barber Creek Shooting Academy. Well, it's mid-November, and Denise and I this week are headed out to Oklahoma because it's rifle season, and we're going to be hunting with our good friend and team member, Larry Ellis. It's whitetails and big mule deer, and for this trip, Denise is going to take her old reliable seven rim mag, and I'm going to take my trusty 6.5 Weatherby, but we always like to shoot them out to 600, make sure they're on, so we got no excuses. Well, tomorrow we're headed out to Oklahoma. Denise and I are both going after big whitetail or mule deer. I'm gonna take my 6.5 Weatherby, and this was built off a of Borden titanium action with a Brux straight fluted 26 inch barrel, three port muzzle brake, our Apex 200 stock, and uh, it's got a Trigger Tech trigger in it. Got a 2.3 to 18 by 56 Z8i Swarovski on it turrets cut for about what we're going to be in out there so we're going to send one down range make sure it's on before we put them in the back of the truck and uh, we'll be on our way put the sport ears on front shoulder dot because i don't really shoot them in the butt much ready oh, it's slow it's right all right i'm gonna give her a click All right, no pressure. This is a world record white tail. Whoo! That's a click high, but he's dead on both of them shots. I'm gonna shoot one more to make sure that wasn't just me. Ready? Ready. All right, I just killed. This is the second biggest white tail in the world because I just killed that one. That dot can't move left or right, but I can't hit it somehow. <laughs> uh, vertically is perfect. We're good. I just didn't read the wind right that time. That's perfect. That's a, still a two or three inch group at 500 yards with your wife standing next to you, which is kind of a distraction sometimes. But you want to shoot yours or you just want to take it for granted yours is on? No, I want to shoot mine. All right. I don't trust you. All right, get on over here. All right, she's shooting her seven rim mag. It's on a board and titanium mag. It's got a Brooks. 26 inch uh, number four on it with a three port side brake, got Apex 200, and she's also got a Z8 2.3 to 18 by 56. Same turret as I got, and she's shooting 175 grain burger elites about 3,000 feet a second. So, all right, dollar up to 500. I'll spot for you and send them. I think we'll take one click off that and uh, and you'll be ready to go to Oklahoma. Hey man. Hey man. Glad y'all made it. How you doing? It. Nice. 
Y'all made help you, toting stuff Glad in? you're getting to see me again. How I you know doing? it ain't been that long. Hey, Amanda, how you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Denise, how are you? Good. What Denise, you got with your blonde boot over here? Um, well, Alan told me to help get some stuff out of She's going to hop to her stand on one foot tomorrow. Okay. This is she didn't want to leave boot. tracks going in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, we ain't uh, got to carry your stuff too far. Where's our room? Right over here. We, uh, we saved this one for you, Alan. Yours is the the first room on the right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> me or me and her? We like I to think, sleep together. I think okay. this is your We're sleeping spot, on the slab maybe. down there? I think this is your spot. <laughs> all right. Cool. We hope we ain't got to use So that. now, all right, for really, where are we staying? <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> right, right there. Okay. All right. All right, we're not. <laughs> Wait a minute. Somebody's in here. Well, you don't got to knock. Hey, you can just look through the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's home. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Go All right, we're going back to Georgia. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance. So our first morning sit, we were up on top of a bluff um, in a ground blind and uh, completely thought we were gonna blow away. Right down here, we got us a buck right here. It's not a mature buck, but uh, he's definitely, he's trailing a doe. He is not interested in food this morning, I don't think. Well, we seen our first deer this morning, that's something. It's very windy and cold, so we're struggling a bit, but at least we saw a deer. We had a great area to look at, big, big area to watch. Um, we only saw one buck that morning. Oklahoma rifle season, we got our 6.5 Weatherby shooting 140 grain burgers, just itching to get into one of these big bucks, so it's gonna happen. Well, that could be our deer. I can't get no range on him. He must have got down in a dip because I can't see him now. Well, we're fixing to get out of here and go down and sit on the river. We just saw a big buck out of range and he was traveling and got in a crease on us and we're gonna slip out of here and try to get up in front of him. Saw a couple of bucks here and there. Uh, they were really chasing hard, but we didn't see a buck we wanted to shoot. This afternoon here in Oklahoma, we're getting out quite a bit early. Um, got a little mist in the air, and it's even colder than it was this morning. We're gonna hunt out of a barn. Um, from what I understand, this is a pretty special place. We pulled up here, and it looks very deerish. So how cool is this? We're hunting in a barn, and I've never seen a porcupine in my life, and now I'm seeing the second one in one day, and he's huge, and he's right out in front of the barn. No, Alan, I'm not going to go play with it. Uh, we had deer up very close. We probably saw, you know, 15 different deer. If he had not been broken up on his left beam, um, I'd have shot him because he was a real nice buck. Um, we had another younger um, buck that came in. He was mature, but he, he wasn't old enough for us to shoot. Not, but we had lots and lots of activity. Well, it's first afternoon here in Oklahoma, rifle season. Hunting out here at 
Dane Drake and Larry Ellis, EWA Outfitting. We're gonna settle in the ruts wide open and we're gonna kill a big one today. Where'd that sucker come from? You need to quit staring at us. Yeah, that's 10.8, so we look at 12.15. Yeah. If I was gonna shoot it now, I'd probably shoot it for at least 12 miles an hour, full value, so. And we saw eight or nine 10 does and uh, one eight pointer that was probably 140-ish, uh, a good uh, three or four year old. Is that him? No. I don't think so. I think that's what we've seen this morning. But let me make sure. I'll practice on it if you want me to. Ready? All right, here we go. You want him? Ooh, what a buck. I like practicing. And, uh, but not our, our target buck, which was this big six by five. He just got, he got real short threes. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance, and Surge Pro by Biofact Crop Care. Welcome to Precision Hunting. I'm Alan Rovig, owner of McWhorter Custom Rifles, and this is Mr. James Eagleman. He's master instructor and co-owner with Barber Creek Shooting Academy, and we partnered with uh, James and Barber Creek to help us with the finer points of long-range shooting. Nobody's got a better haircut or better credentials than James for a long-range shooting instructor, so James, tell us what you do. Sure, Barber Creek Long Range Hunting School and Shooting School, we're in uh, Alabama, where again, we're not far from Alan. We train clients how to shoot and hunt long range, and not only just shoot and hunt long range, but understand why they do what they do, and why do we need to learn to hunt Perfect. long range. Uh, my background, I spent 26 years active duty in the Army, and I learned how to shoot long range as a sniper in the Army. Uh, graduated honor graduate from U.S. Army Sniper School, and then I graduated honor graduate from Special Operations Target Interdiction Course over at 5th Special Forces at Campbell. So, and then I became an instructor and then a master instructor through the Army. So I've been doing this quite a long time. I did 26 years active duty and then uh, uh, about five years, four and a half years as a civilian in the civilian world. You know, our forte is training people that really have little to no training and advanced people and then teach them about wind and spin drift and Coriolis and aerodynamic jump and understanding about shot placement on animals and really learning the intricacies of uh, you know, preloading a gun, trigger squeeze, follow through, everything you need for long range. So a lot of people always ask me, what is long range? So I tell my clients, long range really is where the bullet is starting to be affected by density altitude, by station pressure, temperature, altitude, angle, wind. When all that comes into play, that's when the bullet really needs a little help. Generally 500 yards plus. 500 yards and beyond, that's correct. Right. Yeah, usually you can get away with anything under 500 yards, very little wind effect, very little, I mean, if it's under a 20 degree angle and 500 yards, you're golden. Right. So that's kind of the golden rule, but uh, we really are just here to facilitate people and teach them how to shoot and hunt long range. We got air conditioned, heated shoot house, uh, same thing with our classroom. We got a 1,580 yard rifle range here. Uh, right here, yeah, we're, yeah, we're at a thousand. <laughs> it is. We're at a thousand yards here in the level one, but we do a level one, level two class where all year round uh, clients can come when they want. So, absolutely. But full course meals, too. Great steak dinners. Yep, that's right. Gain a few pounds. Cool. I've been shooting and hunting for 40 years. I think I'm a pretty good shot. I came over here and met James, and right off the bat, he showed me some stuff that I didn't know. So, we've enlisted him to help train our team, and uh, he's going to do a series every week to try to help you guys learn the finer points of long range shooting if that becomes a necessity in your hunting. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this. You guys stay tuned and watch the rest of the show. Cool, scouts out. He's 50. Well, that's a good buck. That's just that's not what we're after. We just want to hold out for something that's a little bit bigger than that. So uh, as much as it hurts, and I'm going to shoot everything, we're going to let that one go. There's something moving right there. You see? That's a good buck here. 
that's a buck. That's a buck. How far is that? About 250. Look at this butt. Nice butt. What a pretty Oklahoma butt. Look at that deer. It's about 9.30. We'd seen a bunch of other bucks, passed on some other good bucks, and this guy comes in. He got way too close to the McWhorter. We're hunting with our 6.5 Weatherby. This one's on the board in action on our Apex stock. Got a Swarovski on top of it. 250 yards was way too close for this buck to try to slip by us. He came in here and gave us a pretty good broadside shot, and that 140 grain burger just ate him up. So he ran about 30 yards. Just a pretty, pretty buck. A great, great hunt. Great Oklahoma buck. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants, Capstone Precision Group, Brooks Barrels, Borden Accuracy, Trigger Tech, Revolution Safe Company, Safari Club International Foundation, and Browning Trail Cameras. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. Hey, there's that big deer with that drop. I can't believe that deer's down here. This is, a, this is a deer that we've had some history with. He's been kind of floating around between the neighbors and us. And can't ever pinpoint him. We got him in a spot right now. I think, uh, I think we can get Denise in there on him. And we got him in a pinch point here. We're gonna get him killed. Hey, you guys, come on. I got that big deer bedded down here. He had spotted this giant mule deer. I think the big buck is over this right here, bedded down with a doe. So I think you and Cole, you guys come around here to the front like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go on the other side and just glass and see if I can't find him. I look up and to our right, all I saw was just mule deer. Is that him? That's him Okay. We felt like they're looking at us and we've got to do something quick because this is the mule deer of a lifetime. All right, how far is he? 196. 196. All right, we're good. Cole, can you come to me? All right, good. Good, got him. Ready? That's probably the most amazing shot I've ever made. Can you go look at him? Yeah, I want to go look at him. Yeah. First, first mule deer. Massive. 
that drop. I've never seen anything like that. Is this a good first mule deer? This is really your first mule deer? I've never hunted a mule deer, period. My goodness. And I thought my wife was spoiled on her first <laughs> mule deer. That is a monster. Look at all this mass. Dane and Cole Drake, legends of Cimarron. EWA hunting have been, uh, Oklahoma has been great to me this year. <laughs> if he'd had a little mass, he'd have been a good one. <laughs> right. Gee whiz. Look at that toad. <laughs> yeah. He was easy to take pictures with, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Stay, babe. He only held his mass out there to the tips.